Welcome back, everybody, to another few episodes of Skyrim Darkly. Uh, we're just about to head up to High Rothgar and talk to the Greybeards. However, I'm going to talk to a few of the people here in Iverstead just to kind of get the lay of the Stay land. Safe, I hope. I have to wonder. I can't see you, Raider. I can't find you. Why are you hiding? Hiding? Hide, hide, hide. Don't make me sad. Raid was here, then gone. Went to gather plants and never came home. Nope, nope. Everyone looked and no one could find her. Wilhelm said she'll be back. Told Harvey not to worry. Raid will come back. That's sad. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. With father, I said goodbye. With mother, I said goodbye. Raid leaves and Narvi can't say goodbye. Makes Narvi very, very sad. Narvi needs Raider to say goodbye. Hmm. The mountain will eat you. Watch the mountain. <laughs> okay. Yeah, most things around here will eat me. It's probably pretty good advice. All right, so let's go in here and see what these guys can tell me about the map. If there's anything I can get you. Just let me know. No, oh, she kicked the pot again. <laughs> we don't get many visitors through here, unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar. That's where I'm going. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Hmm. Barrow on east side of town. Anything you can tell me about High Rothgar? The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. Tell me more about the Barrow. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look. I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Do the spirits haunt your town as well? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? I could investigate for you. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Investigate Shroud Hearth Barrow. Alright. What's the story with Narfi? Ah, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Raida disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks' farmhouse across the river. You told Narfi she's coming back? I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Raida would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. Look, Raida's remains. Anything dangerous on that island to the east? I've seen some sort of a cave entrance over there. Folks call it Geierman's Hall, but I don't know why. Probably best if you avoid it for now. It didn't seem to do Raida any good. Has anyone ever explored the Baron? About a year or two ago. Some fella named Windelius came through, said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. We never saw him again. Heard 
any rumors lately? I heard tell of a lad in Windhelm, Aventus Aretino. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. Talk to Aventus Aretino. Okay. <laughs> Windhelm's pretty far away, I think. All right, so we found out pretty much everything we Have can from this guy. Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. Visit the shrine. I saw it again. That ghost. It was over by the Barrows. That thing's evil, Linley. I told you to keep away from there. I'm sorry. I was curious. I didn't believe the stories. I won't go over there ever again. See that you don't. I promise to keep you safe. <clears throat> I'm not going to break my word. Well, let's talk to her, see if she knows if anything. If you fancy about a bit of music, let me know. Anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? I've always fancied a journey up the 7,000 steps to the monastery. Anything to break the boredom of living in this town. I envy you. Okay. A pleasant Trivia. journey, my lord. No, I'll tell you, Wilhelm. If I could sweep her away from here tomorrow, I'd do it. But Klimek still has so much to learn. Klimek is doing just fine. You should follow your heart. Perhaps one day, but not today. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? Anything you could tell me about High Rothgar? Klimek brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. <sighs> what a boring conversation. <laughs> yeah, you weren't very interesting, that's for sure. Alright, so we've talked to everybody here about High Rothgar, so let's go ahead and head up the mountain. Don't give me that look, Lydia. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's go ahead and say before we uh, before we start making this journey. No telling what kind of uh, horrors we'll meet on the way up. Once we're done, we'll come back here and complete all of these quests. Let's see who's this guy. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Anything you can tell me about High Rothgar? They call it the path to the monastery to 7,000 steps. Can you imagine? I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. <laughs> okay. Sure. Where are these guys? Oh, you're a traveler. You must have so much to tell about the world outside this boring town. Maybe you can tell me about High Rothgar? The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they live their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? I wish I could go with you. <sighs> you must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? It's frightening living below their monastery. Sometimes I swear I can hear strange noises rolling down from up there. It sounds like thunder, but there's never any rain. What do you make of that? Hmm. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. <laughs> I don't mind if I do. This is a very strange town. Huh. <laughs> this is a very, very strange town. Alright, so here we go. <clears throat> Up the 7,000 steps. And no, I am not going to count them. And I'm not going to bother looking at stopping at those shrines, all of those shrines either. But maybe we can get some good views. 
let's see what uh, Iverstead looks like down here from up here. Not bad, not bad. Is that the bar barrow that they were talking about? I'll have to go check that out when I get done. Hmm. Pretty. All right. Here we go. Oh. Oh. All right. My thing's done. Uh, my thing is uh. No more charges. Alright, so I'm going to try, from now on, when things attack me, I'm going to try to soul drain them first. Try to get my uh, conjuration up a little bit. Is this... Yeah, that's it. Or I'll also try to get these... Uh... There we go. Got another point. Lydia, why are you chasing the goats? <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Lydia, leave the goats alone. Gonna go chase that one down too. Ah, <laughs> oh, Lydia. <laughs> okay, no, she's not gonna go after it. All right. Beautiful music, beautiful views. Hello. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Did you hear the Greybeards called Dovahkiin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. What are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Do you visit the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Until next time. What's up here? If I can get up there. Yep, can I, can I, can I, can I, no, no, can I Skyrim? Yeah, I can Skyrim up here. No, no, nothing up here. Lydia, where are you? Oh, she left again. Where the heck are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Gosh, she just disappears. Now, there's. What's this? What's this? Ice Wolf. Thank you. 
ice wolves. Ice wolves. Ice wolves. At least it didn't breathe frost on me or something like that. So I know there's a troll up here somewhere. I'm not looking forward to fighting him. There's another ice wolf up there. Is he on his way? Yeah. Ferocious one. So I'm still trying to get used to where my uh, hotkeys are for Sky UI. save since I was able to get past that thing I don't have to fight it again job, Lydia. At least you can kill something. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So I've been watching some episodes of uh, some Skyrim documentary type episodes from the uh, from Nate, and, uh, the Epic Nate. Um, highly recommend, recommend them if you've, if you've never watched, watched those. I uh, imagine if anybody's a fan of Skyrim, they probably have watched them. But uh, I highly recommend those if you uh, ever want to know some uh, five tiny details, or if you. Uh, uh, Ten things you might not know about Skyrim or his two popular series. So, uh, go check them out. I highly recommend them. There's that bone altar. What I need to go. I need to get over there. I would really like to start. Oh, I've heard about this chick too. I don't know if I want to. I don't want to tangle. I don't want to kill her or anything. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. Did you hear the Greybeard's call Dovahkiin? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. 
It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. What are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Good day. Good day. I won't keep you. Alright, so I think that troll's around here somewhere. I really don't want to tangle with him. Yeah, there he is, right up there. The frost troll. <sighs> Darn it. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and save. Oh, he's seen me. Lydia, what are you doing hanging back here? This is uh, definitely going to need your help for this. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Let's let her tank. Oh, man. <laughs> Ah, uh, that didn't go well. That didn't go very well. Ah, uh, all right. How are we gonna do this? I may have to just wait till I'm higher level to take this guy on, because Lydia can't handle him either. Is there any way I could go around, maybe. He's hanging out over there. He's definitely going to be able to see me. I may just have to come back here when I'm higher level, guys. I was hoping I would. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes he's not there. Either that, or I can let Lydia engage him, and then I can just try to try to run past. Oh, that's kind of the that's kind of the cheesy way to do it, but we'll try it and see. Okay, so he sees me now. Where did Lydia go? Is she fighting him? No. Where did Lydia go? Oh, you're way down there. Of course you are. All right. Did she see it? Where'd you go? Why are you going down there? Oh, crap. Here it comes. Lydia! Lydia, help! Don't get stuck behind the tree! No! <laughs> Darn it. I forgot what my 
my sprint was. Maybe I can get ahead of it enough. Alright, I'm going to try to hoof it up. <laughs> Maybe I can outrun it. Don't look back! Don't look behind you! Did he give up? Okay, looks like he gave up. Hopefully Lydia didn't die. She'll probably show up here in a minute. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick save since I'm past it. Hopefully there won't be anything else nasty along the way. I don't think there is. But, uh, we'll see. I know you get some kind of buff for reading all of these things, but I hear it's not all that great. Yeah, I'm some dro I'm some Dovahkiin, and I spend most of my time running away from monsters, uh, from enemies. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Let's take another look. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, is that uh, is that White Run way down there? Can't really tell through the mist. Oh, there's Lydia. Here she comes. She got past the troll too. Alright, good on you, Lydia. <laughs> she runs so funny. Uh, <laughs> why does she do the zigzaggy thing? <laughs> uh, funny. Ah, we're there. Hi, Rothgar. Empty chest. Bottle of cure disease. Dragon's tongue. All right, in we go. All right, so this is going to be a lot of talking. Hopefully, uh, you guys like all of the uh, all of this. Well, hello. Guess they knew I was coming. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. You call me dragonborn. What does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Demonstrate unrelenting shout. Strike us with the power of your voice. Boom! Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the great... Now, tell me, Dragonborn. I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Why have you come here? Who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards, 
followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in high Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I want to find out more. I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. I am ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. That's how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einard will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. 